This week, officials announced July's Mendocino complex fire, the largest in California history, has finally been fully contained. Arizona alone currently has four large wildfires burning over 15,000 acres tonight. So far in 2018, wildfires have burned more than 7 million acres across the United States. That's compared to 5 million acres on average over the past 10 years. Scientists are now trying to unlock the secrets of how fires spread in the hopes of keeping them away from people and property. Our intention is to understand the physical processes that lead to different kinds of fire behaviors. And in order to do that, we have to design experiments that can scale all the way up to the field scale. In a U.S. Forest Service lab in Montana, they're fighting fires by lighting fires. The team has spent decades building a series of demonstrations that replicate real-world fire conditions out in the wild. Ten cameras, and they're mounted from every different angle. We do that just for documentation, but we also take measurements off of those cameras. But in the past 10 years, wildfires have grown larger than anything we've ever seen before. This past July, the world watched something most of us have never seen, a massive fire NATO. The massive funnel formed outside Redding, California. It was 1,000 feet wide, reached wind speeds of 165 miles per hour. That's equivalent to a Category 3 tornado. There were vehicles that were rolled and moved. There were large power line towers that were torn off the base and actually blown through the air. As the hot air above the fire accelerates vertically, it actually stretches the air and in in the already rotating air spins it up into these really, really tight whirls and high wind speeds. Researchers say they're now starting to understand some of the ingredients that cause these fire NATOs, but they aren't even close to being able to predict when and where they'll erupt. As wildfires grow bigger and even more intense, research grows more and more critical in protecting property and saving lives. All right, let's get a check of the forecast. Yeah.